This presentation is about high viscosity metallocene polyalpha olefin, MPAO, base stocks for synthetic greases. Base oils significantly impact the chemical and physical properties of lubricating greases. The pie chart on the right shows that in 2016, more than 90% of greases produced globally were based on mineral oil base stocks, while only 4% contained synthetic base oil blends. However, demand for synthetic greases grew at a pace of about 5% per year since 2010. There are basically two main drivers for the use of synthetic greases. One, protection of equipment, and two, optimized use of equipment. Protection means the grease allows the equipment to run at design limits from thermal and mechanical perspectives in adverse environmental conditions. Optimization means cost reduction by achieving higher energy efficiency and extending regreasing times. Here we focus on MPAO. The left side graph shows the industrial volume growths for lubricants. The red line at the bottom was basically flat from 2010 to 2018. At the same time, synthetic lubricant demand has grown at a rate of 4 to 5 percent per year. And high viscosity MPAO demand has grown even more. Over 30% of the high viscosity conventional PAO or CPAO market has converted to MPAO. What's driving this shift? Performance. Compared to CPAO, MPAO provides higher viscosity index, better low temperature properties, improved shear stability, and better foam and air release performance. You see the same trends in finished lubricants, giving formulators greater blending flexibility. Let's look at some of the differences between a PAO produced with a conventional catalyst and one using a metallocene catalyst. Using software modeling, we can compare the molecular size in a C60 hydrocarbon. Molecules in this model are constructed in vacuum under selected force field, best fit for hydrocarbons. The sweep volume of the MPAO on the right can be visualized by drawing the smallest encapsulating sphere possible. The oval encapsulating the CPAO is much wider and, if rotated, it would form a much larger sphere, as shown here. The conventional high-viscosity PAO has significant isomerization that produces branch lengths and extends the main chain, whereas the MPAO has no isomerization, longer average branch lengths, and a more compact structure. There are more carbons in the main chain in the CPAO and more carbons in the branches in the MPAO. The CPAO is more extended and will have a larger sweep volume with more chain interactions. The MPAO is more compact and will have smaller sweep volume with fewer interactions. These structural differences have a significant effect on the viscometrics. On this slide, you see the main properties of MPAO. Note two key parameters, the low temperature properties reflected in the pore point and the Brookfield viscometrics and the viscosity index. The high viscosity indices of MPAO make a substantial difference in certain applications. In addition, MPAOs have got very good fluidity at low temperature. For example, at minus 26 degrees C, the MPAO 300 is still fluid, while other base stocks at that viscosity under those conditions are already frozen. Let's look at a practical example, the wind turbine industry. Due to the cold climate market evolution in this area from 2015 to 2020, you see that in all regions, turbines in cold climates are increasing. The installed cold climate capacity reached 127 gigawatts in 2015, and it's forecasted to grow by 10% through 2020. In these wind turbine installations, a lot of greases are used for pitch and yaw bearings. In our grease study using high viscosity MPAO, we looked at two ISO VG classes. Here, you see ISO VG 220. We compared greases made with a mineral oil, a CPAO, and then a CPAO in combination with alkylated naphthalene at 5 centistokes. ANs are co base stocks used in various formulations. They have excellent oxidative stability, and they don't hydrolyze since they are pure hydrocarbons. Then we looked at an MPAO formulation without and with alkylated naphthalene. The first observation is that the amount of thickener required is higher for synthetics than for mineral oils. But when you change from a high viscosity CPAO to MPAO, you need less thickener to achieve the same properties. 
If you add AN to the formulation, you can reduce the thickener even further. We check the consistency and the quality of the product by two measures, penetration and dropping point. You can see that all these greases are mainly consistent. In evaluating ISO VG460 greases, we used the same base stock and base stock blends, but we added alkylated naphthalene 12 centistoke to the MPAO150 grease and to the MPAO300 grease to compare the properties. From a consistency perspective, the greases performed almost all the same. As far as required thickener, we see, again, that mineral oils require the least. With CPAO, the thickener increases significantly, but this amount can be reduced by changing to MPAO. Blending with alkylated naphthalene allows further reduction. Now let's shift to the low temperature properties of these greases. Looking at the low temperature torque of the mineral oil, comparing starting and running torque, you see that the starting torque is very high, and it reduces significantly by running for one hour. The low temperature starting torques of the synthetic greases are far lower and are further reduced when running for one hour. There's also an obvious difference between high viscosity CPAO and MPAO greases. We know that ANs typically have a negative impact on the low temperature torque of greases, but when you compare a CPAO AN blend with an MPAO AN blend, there's a clear difference. You don't see a negative impact with the MPAO. We see similar results with the ISO VG460 grease. The mineral oil was frozen at the start, and even after one hour, the low temperature torque was too high to be measured. With high viscosity CPAO, the numbers drop significantly. Low temperature torque drops further with MPAO 150 and 300. Adding AN to the MPAO grades doesn't have a severe impact, with results similar to the conventional grease formulation. The U.S. Steel Mobility Test at minus 18 degrees C is used to measure grease's low temperature pumpability. The test simulates pumping grease into a centralized lubrication system and seeing what comes out at the other side. The charts show that changing from high viscosity CPAO to high viscosity MPAO increases pumpability, which is what formulators want. We see this performance with the ISO VG220 and the ISO VG460 grease, except for the 460 blended with MPAO150 combined with AN. In Europe, grease manufacturers mainly evaluate low temperature pumpability from a flow pressure testing perspective measured by DIN 51805. In the range of temperatures from minus 20 to minus 50 degrees C, the high viscosity MPAO grease demonstrates better pumpability than the reference CPAO grease. Now let's switch to high temperature protection. When running the FE9 test at 140 degrees C at 600,000 RPM 1.5 KN, according to test DIN 51821, we see that a combination of high viscosity MPAO and alkylated naphthalene, which provides oxidative stability, boosts FE9 performance significantly for both the ISO VG220 and ISO VG460 greases. We can conclude that in lithium complex greases, a combination of high viscosity MPAO and AN can improve both low and high temperature performance. To evaluate other thickener systems, such as calcium sulfonate and clay thickeners, we compared mineral oil grease with high viscosity CPAO and MPAO 300 greases. In most cases, you can see that when changing from mineral oil to synthetics, you need a higher thickener content. But the MPAO formulation allows you to have slightly lower content, which can have economic benefits. Same trend here with low temperature properties. We see that the mineral oil has a much higher low temperature torque. It was frozen across the entire test, while CPAO has a significantly lower starting and running torque. By changing to MPAO, you can achieve another step change in low temperature torque in both the calcium sulfonate and clay greases. To summarize, high viscosity metallocene PAO offers grease formulators improved performance compared to mineral oil and high viscosity conventional PAO in the following tests. Low temperature torque at minus 40 degrees C, US mobility at minus 18 degrees C, and flow pressure at minus 40 C. In oxidation conditions, high temperature. In the FE9, you ought to see benefits using MPAO. 
it enables you to produce better low temperature performance in lithium complex, calcium sulfonate, and clay thickener greases compared to mineral oil-based greases.